I will show you how I made this billiard game in 60 minutes, so be excited. Step 1. Get your hands ready. Step 2. Start the timer. And step 3. Making the game. It's extremely challenging making a game in 60 minutes, so you have to have a plan. You re need to know which things you do in which order and you can't expect a fully polished game after 60 minutes, but you can expect something. So, and my plan was to spend 20 minutes modeling, 20 minutes on the actual game and then I will spend 20 minutes on polishing. So that's the plan. So I started with the first model and my idea was to just model the board of the billiard. And the good thing is that you only have to model one fourth of the complete table because you can mirror the table twice to get a complete table. You just have to connect all the edges together in a certain way so that you um, I can be sure that the balls can smoothly uh, roll over the table. I started with a normal template of a table and modeled all the edges and the holes and then I started to add a diffuse color just to have the white color because the polishing part uh, will be the last part and if I have time I will add some textures or maybe a normal map to just give the complete table uh, a bit of a depth. One thing I did wrong was to just assign the materials too early to the model. Because the complete table wasn't modeled completely, I just added the materials to certain faces and during the modeling the faces changed or I merged faces and they got the wrong color. So I always have to adjust the color and the material matching during the whole modeling process and this took me a lot of time and as soon as I watched on the timer I noticed okay I'm already late I'm already delayed in my plan and then I got finally to the part which I personally like the most in game development and this is one of the key strengths of unity you can just click and drag all the objects you need together in your scene. And this is what I did. You can see here I just created a white sphere. And this is the main ball of the game. You can just copy the sphere, create a new material, um, make it red. And as soon as you got that ready, you can copy and paste all your balls. Uh, for example, like I did here with the prefab. And just place them on the table. And this is why um, this game only took me 60 minutes to make, because um, this isn't very accurate. I, I just dropped some random balls around and they are not very well aligned, because um, if I want to align them perfectly, maybe I have to align them by code, or otherwise just spend more time in the alignment of all these balls. <coughs> And the other thing is the light. I wanted to play a little bit around with the light. I just thought, okay, um, it's always a little bit smoky in bars where billiard tables are standing. So I added three lights and this makes a very good atmosphere and added uh, yeah, some atmosphere uh, to the level. I will fast forward the coding part because it's not so interesting to show. I can explain you the basic ideas or concepts behind this. So I will just um, cast away from the camera screen to the board to just get the position of the mouse within the scene. And then I will create a vector between the white ball and the mouse and use a line renderer to indicate this with a white line. And as soon as the user clicks, the ball should have a certain amount of velocity that is applied immediately to the ball and the rest is just physics engine. There are some minor changes to the other balls. So the other balls will disappear as soon as they 
um, are in one of the holes. The complete board has a mesh collider to um, have a very simple and fast way to just create the correct collider for this game. One thing that was missing was the challenge. And my idea is that the challenge is that you have to use as less hits as possible to just let all the balls disappear and hopefully uh, this will challenge the player a little bit. You can reset the complete game so that you can uh, retry it over and over again. Unfortunately um, this doesn't work very well but I have to make sure I make it in time because 60 minutes are not that much. And my idea is to just put the complete game in a git repository. You can see in the description there's a git repository. It's a public repository which means you can clone the complete project, you can make change to it, changes to it and just push it back and uh, I will review your push and if it improves the game um, I will make it a part of it and so you can participate um, by just small improvements or developments on it. And that's it. We hit the zero mark on the timer and the game is done. Or as complete as it could be within 60 minutes. I'm pretty happy with it. You can play this game. The link is in the description. I uploaded it to itch.io and also you can find the git repository in the description. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and leave a like if you want to see more videos than this and make sure to subscribe. So stay tuned.